All right, movie recommendations. These are fun. So you write in, you let us know your situation, and if I can, I'll recommend a movie to you. We start off with a letter from Steve, and he says, Dear Kevin, hi, my name is Steve. I really enjoy watching the show. Well, I mean, when I'm recording this, we haven't actually released any shows yet, but appreciate the note anyway, Steve. I am writing to you to ask for your movie recommendation. Although I live in Perth, I support the basketball team, the Cairns Taipans. I will be flying to Cairns next week to see them play. Nice. However, I am terrified of flying. Do you have any movie recommendations to watch on the flights? Thanks, Steve. Steve, again, thanks for, for writing in. Um, you know, I might just have something for you. Let's see. So you're flying to Cairns. And the Taipans. Ah, this will make your flight a lot easier. Steve, I do have a recommendation for you, and that is Snakes on the Plane. <laughs> Letter two. It goes a little something like this. It goes, Dear Kevin, love the show. My son is only eight years old and already has dreams of working for Google. Smart kid you got there. Last Halloween, he even dyed his hair to resemble the Google Internet Browser logo. His birthday is coming up in August. Any movie recommendations for him? Thanks, Emily. Well, thanks for writing in, Emily. Um, your son, eight years old, wants to work for Google. Uh, dyed his hair. Dyed his hair? It's the internet. The Google Internet Browser logo. I do have. Emily, I got it. I got it for ya. Chrome Skull. Uh, if that one didn't hit, it's because of the camera. <laughs> Not because it wasn't actually a joke. <laughs> hey, it's getting hot in here. Number three, it goes a little something like this. This is the letter that came through. And this one came in from Kenneth. Real guy. <laughs> Kenneth goes, Hi Kevin, great news. I recently got engaged to girlfriend of three years. Congrats. Or should I now say fiancé? <laughs> I was nervous to pop the big question, so I took to the good book and asked for a sign in the form of a butterfly, her favourite of God's wonderful creatures. Okay. Moments later, not only did I see the sign... I saw two beautiful butterflies frolicking in the wind. <laughs> that's no, nah, that's cool, Kenneth. That's uh, I'm glad and, and again, congratulations. Any recommendations to watch together as a newly engaged couple? Thank you kindly in advance, Kenneth. Kenneth, thanks for reaching out. <clears throat> I mean, it's, yeah, great news, absolutely. Um, let's see if I can find something for you guys to watch. Kind of cool, we saw the sign, we saw two. Oh, got it. Kenneth. If you're not my friend, saw two. <laughs> and yep, this is the last one. <laughs> Thanks for... For sticking through this. <clears throat> the last one comes from Robbie. Robbie. Uh, he says, Hi Kev, my name is Robbie. I am at year four and I am at year four. That's okay. And I want to be like Leonardo DiCaprio, my hero. Cool. I assume you want to be an actor when you are a bit older. I hope that's what you mean. <laughs> I was picked by Mr. Parker to be Romeo in our school play of Romeo and Juliet. That's cool. That's really cool, Robbie. So you're on you're on the right path to going to where you want to be and to be like your, your hero. That's cool. Do you recommend any movie to watch to learn to be like Leonardo DiCaprio, THX? Thanks, I guess that means. Robbie, congrats, man, and thanks for, for your, your note. I can recommend you a movie. Um, so you're going to be... Uh, I don't know if I have any Leo movies. 
gonna be in a play there. Robbie, I got gotcha. you. For you, child's play. <laughs> like it or not, that was the segment. <laughs> it's the Inside Dope Show.